I mean, it's already hard just dealing with the tragedy, but it's hard hearing the statement of the people that we lost, you know, the family, the friends, the people that were injured. Um, even though I wasn't injured, I'm thankful, but it's still, it's still hard to hear that, you know, if I hadn't done what I'd done, I could have been one of those people that were injured and or murdered. I I can't, like, even though I smile and laugh, I hurt. I drink more. My drinking gets picked up. I'm in therapy, but um, it's so hard to not want to pick up a bottle. Nine, eight, nine in the morning, it's hard. It's, it's again, it's hard to just go anywhere because... Is this the day that, you know, possibly somebody could shoot it up? I want to be for more gun control, but I feel like that won't help. I feel like it's also a mental thing as well. More background checks or something. Um, it's, it's hard because I'm going to say in my statement, you know, Yes, you took away our safe space, but now because of so many gun violence, shoot, so many mass shootings, you know, it, it, this moment right now, is this the moment where, you know, somebody could just open fire? I go to the grocery store. I go to the gas station. I even go to my car in my apartment complex just to get some out of my car. Each moment, is this the moment that, you know, I could be murdered because of a whatever, you know, because of a mass shooter? And so it, it's really hard. Um, it was just such a, an intense moment to hear families of victims speaking directly to the, sh the shooter, explaining to them what they've taken from them. That can never be replaced. That you know these families have lost loved ones that have holes in their heart that will never be filled because of the, the senseless actions of this coward that's still sitting in that courtroom right now. And it, I was angry. I was crying. I was upset. I mean, it was just, it's a heavy day today, but it's also a huge relief to close the book on this case. My biggest fear was that this case would run on for years and that we would be deliberating this for years to come, which I believe would have like prevented me from healing and moving past it. Unfortunately, Reality is entirely different from what I expected that night. And there were moments uh, where I thought I was not going to make it out of that building alive. And I'm so grateful I did. But now we're all living with trauma, with PTSD, and we're all grieving. And uh, what I told the shooter was, I will never forgive you. Um, only God can do that for you now. Um, so my goal now is to, to find peace beyond this, um, to feel the relief of this case being coming to a close. And, and I'm so grateful to the district attorney, Michael Allen, and his team for expediently wrapping this case up. Um, my, legitimately, my biggest fear, this would go on for two or three years, and mentally I was not ready to do that.